Today, the Federal Reserve is on track to raise interest rates by half a percentage point. The first interest rate hike this large in more than 20 years. This comes as the feds are trying to tackle inflation, but some Wall Street executives say that this could lead to a recession. You can see our Penny Commit is here with us now. So Penny, you spoke with the local economists. What are they saying about a possible recession? Yeah, I spoke with Professor McNabb at Old Dominion University, who describes the economy right now kind of like a moving car. During the pandemic, we pressed on the acceleration, pumped money into the economy so we could be stable again. But now he says we're going too fast, we're going down a hill, and we're approaching a sharp turn. So what the Federal Reserve is doing today is attempting to step on the brakes just a little bit. Right now, unemployment claims are down, corporate profits are up, and the stock market is trading at pretty high values. But Dr. McNabb says we recovered from the pandemic faster than anyone expected. So the downside is that the nation is seeing the worst inflation in decades. Experts believe the Federal Reserve was too late to the game. Now they're playing catch up and they're trying to increase the cost of money quickly, but not too quick that they fall into a recession. So how do central banks combat inflation? Well, they raise interest rates, but when you raise interest rates, you slow economic activity and you increase the risk of recession that way. So it's a very delicate tightrope that you're working on. So what does this mean for Hampton Roads specifically? Well, Dr. McNabb says if you're looking to buy a house, you probably waited too long. He says we can expect mortgage rates to be about 6% or higher by the fall, and then that means that more people will likely rent. But of course, that means rent prices will rise and the number of available apartments will shrink. And if other banks across the world decide to raise their interest rates, which is very possible considering we all experienced a global pandemic, the Port of Virginia may see less cargo traffic. But there is some reason for optimism. The Fed Chairman Jerome Powell says that the U.S. has slowly applied the brakes before, and this does not guarantee a recession. But if we do face a recession, Dr. McNabb says that it will likely be in the early months of 2023. I'm Penny Commit.